What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I've just made a couple of videos where I have talked about my current top three steady gold farms for certain professions and you guys seem to really like those videos and I can definitely tell by how the prices have dropped lately because those have been some really popular farms but you guys wanted me to keep on doing uh, this mini series so here I am with another video where we look, we'll look at my top three favorite herbalism farms. And we're not talking about any current content Shadowlands herbic farm because screw that. We're going to talk a bit about why it is screw that in just a bit. Uh, before we do so, I do want to mention that you guys can still get 50% off on the uh, from 0 to 10 million gold guide. Just use the code Shadowlands when you go to checkout. And it's a complete gold guide that will teach you how to go from zero gold and all the way to 10 million gold. By the easy, uh, nice follow along step by step uh, guide. So if you guys are going to play TBC Classic, by the way, you can also check that guide out. The complete gold guide for Classic TBC down below in the description and pinned comments. So every farm that I mentioned right now, if I featured it, I'm going to also link the videos down below in the description because I don't want to make a 15 minute long video just explaining like all the farms that I've uh, described in earlier videos, right? Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the exact locations and I have GatherMate 2 installed, the add-on. If you don't know what the add-on is, it's really, really nice. You can pretty much just take on the filters that you want to and it's going to show you all the, uh, the possible locations. But you also need to download like GatherMate 2 being the uh, the main add-on, and then you get you download GatherMate 2, uh, like the uh, what's it called? A data GatherMate 2 data. In that case, you can just import GatherMate 2 data, and it's going to give you like all the spawn points, so you don't have to go and uh, find them for yourself. So we're going to look at it with the first example of uh, one of my favorite farms to do with herbalism, and that takes place over in Kalimdor. So if you go all the way down to Uldum. You can see this river right here has a ton of these whiptail spawns. Whiptail is very high in demand, it's a cata herb. And the, the cool thing about the route that I love is that there's tons of them. You will never run out. Like it's impossible to run out unless you have like 10 people doing herbalism at the location. But they spawn very, very fast. You just mount, fly up and down this river and that is pretty much it. So... The uh, the next one that we're going to be looking at is also uh, a cataclysm uh, herb, and that takes place in Deep Hole. So as you guys can see, it looks overwhelming on this map. There's so many spawn locations on, but that is because I also got mining on. But regardless of the mining nodes, take a look at the amount of herbs that this place has. It's absolutely insane. So this one will give you both Cinder Bloom and Heart Blossom. Two different cata herbs, which is great. So I guess this video is kind of four favorite herb farms. Because besides from this one, in Deep Holm, the last location is also a cata herb. I know. Insane, right? And that takes place in Vashir in the Shimmering Expanse. Now, this is for Ashira's Veil. Vale, also super high in demand, Vial of Sand and all of that. So it's best done together with mining because there's so many obsidian deposits around. But this is one of those hyper-spawning herb locations. Uh, it's absolutely insane. You're never going to run out of anything on this location too. It does also drop Stormvine. But it, the price on Stormvine is usually not that great. The positive thing about all of these herb spawns or farms being in Kata though is that you also get Volatile Life. Which pretty much just flies off the auction now. So that's a nice bonus. So looking up the price on these, this is one of my many herb and mining tunes. You can see that uh, the prices vary and it's extremely important that you guys check the price out before you go out and farm it. Uh, so for instance, Heart Blossom right now is sitting at 63 gold each. And you can see what I've sold them for in the past. Low at 9 gold, average price at 16. But if I was just patient and waited... I've also sold them for 93 gold each. So selling them for 63 gold each, it's uh, it's not unrealistic. And the gold per hour, if you do sell it for somewhere around that, is going to be insane. Like really, you can get like a thousand plus. It's it's a great farm if you sell it at these uh, these prices. Besides from that, you have Ashira's Veil. I sold them as, at a high at 35 gold, 20 gold average. 
right now 23 gold then you got whip tail at 19 uh which is really good it really is cinder bloom at almost 15 which is also pretty damn decent so prices on my realm right now are relatively decent they really really are i wish that a shearer's veil was a bit uh higher up so once you can find out how much you are able to get yourself because i my number is going to be definitely different than your number it depends on the what class you do with how efficiently you are how well you know the route and all of that so if you do like a test hour you find out how many you acquired then you can easily find out what your gold per hour is and in the majority of the cases the gold per hour will be higher than doing shadowlands uh, gathering because everyone is doing shadowlands gathering even the bots right so keep that in mind so make sure to check out the links down below if uh i mean the video i pretty much showed the uh the spawning locations the routes are no biggie but if you want to check out the videos uh then just look down below in the description and if you want me to make more videos like this one then simply just like the video and it's going to give me a good indication that you guys are interested in more steady gold farms like this one but until tomorrow in the next video i'll see you then Bye-bye.